This is next level technology. With the shirt, it looks so dope. <laughs> My name is Aaron Cairo. I'm a sponsored skateboarder from the San Francisco Bay Area. And today, I'm gonna take you on a mission. A mission into time. For all of you who know what this is, you're a great person. And if you've ever filmed a video on this, you're an even better person. This right here, Sony InfoLithium Color LCD Monitor, 460X Digital Zoom. So this is what we used to film on way back in the day. I think actually this is even an upgraded model to the footage that you're about to see, which is from 1996. I was a young 12 year old boy venturing out into the world, trying to figure out how to land a kickflip. It's funny, when I think about how my skating was when I was young, I always think, yeah, I couldn't do any tricks. And then I watch this footage and I think, did I like get worse over the past like 20, four additional years of skateboarding <laughs> or is it just me so i had this idea i am in the middle of making a documentary i have all these old cameras and i'm going through literally hundreds of tapes pulling off all of this footage and i decided you know what we need to take this camera we needed to get a brand new tape which is in here check this out this is next level technology boop beep Boom, and we're gonna film on this bad boy right here. That's TDK, high eight. And I'm gonna try and do my best to recreate some of this footage, some of these old shots. See if, you know, see if I can do some of the tricks. But you might notice in some of this footage, my pants are a little different than the pants now. I mean, look at, look at these pants, whatever. This is more my wife's influence, to be honest. My wife always wants me to wear skinnier pants. Why don't you wear the skinny pants? And I'm like old school. I want to wear like size 55 inch Wranglers. So as part of this challenge, we're going to go to some stores and we're going to try and find the same pants. I don't think we're going to find the same pants, but maybe welcome to the adventure into time. Let's go. I was thinking about this and I'm pretty sure a lot of the pants that we used to wear were Wranglers. That might sound weird to you, but I'm pretty sure we would go to Walmart or Target maybe, and we would get Wranglers. But now that I'm a bigger person, I'm not sure if they have large enough sizes. You think? I don't know. We'll see. Should we just try Target? Yeah, let's All go right. to Target. Let's go. Where is the nearest Target? The closest one I see is Target on the 14th. Take me there. I think there's this one shot where I have like this random like orangish yellowish shirt we got to find that it's probably gonna have to be like a 15 xl some of the skaters they skate in like long tees you know what i'm talking about yeah yeah i'd love to find some of those just to be able to wear in fact tonight's date night with my wife what if i showed up to date night with these pants and this like outfit oh uh, my gosh might be the last date night you ever had. she would be so mad <laughs> she would be so mad there's a couple things to solve on this. First thing, getting pants big enough. Second thing, a belt. Cause I don't have a belt. Actually, you know what? I just had an idea. Hey, Siri, is there a men's big and tall store near me? The only option I found is the XL on Hesperian Boulevard. Is it the one you want? Yes, girl, take me there. Getting directions to DXL. DXL, what, what do you think that, that is? Target is that way, DXL is that way. We'll go to Target first, and then and then we'll head over to DXL and see. What, worst case scenario, buy a couple different pairs of pants. That's not a problem, right? No, not at all. I'm pretty sure in the videos I'm wearing jeans. I'm gonna need to check it. There's one where you're wearing very long jean shorts, but they're super baggy and they go up to like your calf, maybe. Yeah, what a wonderful time the 90s were. If you grew up in the 90s, leave it in the comments below. If you didn't grow up in the 90s, leave it in the comments below. If you love the 90s, leave it in the comments below. If you hope that the 90s never return, leave it in the comments below. If you want Aaron to say leave it in the comments below 90 times, leave it in the comments below. Let's see how many times in this video I can say leave it in the comments below. Won't be the first time I've done that. Well, we made it. 
the second greatest store in the world, second only to the Home Depot, Target. What about Safeway? No, Safeway's not, Safeway's like on the top 20. They're not on the top three. So let's see what they got. I'm trying to find the world's largest pair of pants. Actually, that might be a whole nother video in itself, the world's largest pair of pants. We're gonna need to uh, do some research on this. But so. we want like 90s style pants, right? Well, yeah. That's why it's, it's kind of funny because usually Wranglers are like for cowboys. But if I remember correctly, that's what we rocked. We, we rocked Wranglers. Is it bad that I don't know what a Wrangler is? You don't? No. For real? No, man. If you guys don't know what Wranglers are, leave it in the comments below. If you do know what Wranglers are, leave it in the comments below. I'm going to show you. Okay. They will have Wranglers here. If they don't, I'll be really shocked. Extra large. Not baggy enough. Those are like... Those don't smell. We're not even getting close. See, this is the problem that I was worried about, is Target, the style right now, is always like skinny. Yeah. So, if we go to a store, oh, like Goodwill... Oh, I get it. Goodwill, easier. who doesn't care about style, you could get anything. I, I see Alec off the camera was like, we should have went to Goodwill. And I was like, they don't have it. Target has everything. Now he's trying to, now he's proving me wrong. And he's right, he's right. Okay, let's just take a quick look here. I'm down to be wrong. The biggest they have right here is size 36. I mean, I remember at, and I might be remembering incorrectly, but I'm pretty sure at the age of 12, I was rocking size 40. These are size 38. Ooh, look at those pockets those though. They don't look big at all though. They're like size 38 slim fit. Okay, we got off track. Where's the Wranglers? I think you're right, Alec. Skinny, slim, athletic, straight. Where's the one that says like, obscenely baggy 90s? Not here. Actually, we might be on the same here. Ooh, ooh. No, but they taper. I mean, they're double XL on the top. <laughs> <laughs> what we should do is a game of skate one pair of pants, two people. <laughs> you could fit in, that'd be amazing. I, I mean, I could fit in here easily. In, in one, one leg. One leg, just, I could fit in one leg too. Okay, I don't see any Wranglers. Let's, um, let me just pick up some groceries real fast. We'll go to DXL. <laughs> Nobody wants to see me buy groceries. I think everyone does. <laughs> Hashtag, what does Aaron Cairo eat? Protein bars. Second greatest store in the world down, you know? Their selection of Wranglers is really not what it used to be. I'm just gonna just gonna lay that out there. But they're still number, you know, two store. Now we're gonna go to number three store in the whole world, which I've never been to, DXL, men's big and tall, and see if they have big and tall pants. You in for this? I just can't wait to see the reactions of people when they see us two skinny guys walk into this giant store. I know, I'm a little nervous, are they gonna, Sometimes people freak out, especially when you go in the store and start filming, especially in this scenario, you know? They think we're gonna be like making fun of them, which we're not. I'm trying to get the pants I used to wear. If I explain that to them, they might be cool. Let me solve this mystery for you, Alec. Hey, Suri, what are Wrangler jeans? Wrangler is an American manufacturer of jeans and other clothing items, particularly workwear. That was from Wikipedia. Wrangler is a jean company. They mostly work, they make workwear. They also own the company Lee. Mm. Lee, Wrangler. Wrangler's like, you know, it's my jam. Okay, I was really disappointed with the selection that they had of the gigantic pairs of pants at Target, um, but boom, there we are, DXL. Super excited to see what they have in there. And I'm really hoping that we do not get kicked out. You gotta learn how to like, kind of like, hide it. Like you're still filming, but you're not. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then if somebody's like, you gotta turn that off. You're like, still filming, but you're not. You know what I mean? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how this goes. DXL Men's Apparel. If they are closed, I'm gonna flip out. No, they're, I think they're open. Okay. It's just DXL. Like how many customers do you think they get? Lots. How many customers do you think they get? I don't know. About how many are in the store right now? Shut up. Look at that. <laughs> oh yeah, they open. We good, dude. We good. How are we doing today? Good, good, how are you? Good, how can we help you? So I'm trying to recreate this this video. That's me. Mm -hmm. In 1996. Wow. 
see how big those pants are? Yeah, those are what I, those sweatpants look like? They are jeans. Mm. I've looked everywhere. If I remember correctly, they're like size 40. I don't have many small waist in that kind of a gray look. Let me tell you what I thought. I mean, yeah, anything, like kind of any, well, blue is ideal, but let's see what you got. I'm a pro already. The biggest I have in gray looks like I have a 56. What's the biggest you have in blue? What's the biggest you have of anything? Ah, 62, 62. 62? Let's go. Where's the 62? Look, well, I'm over here. I like this guy. Yeah, that's like 6430 or 6032, whichever you want. Holy! You can do one Those leg. Those are amazing. You can make one leg if you want to. Those are amazing. A large t-shirt. Large t-shirt. Okay, come over here. Come over here. Yeah, that might be it right there. I have a four XL T. Four XL T. What's the T mean? Tall. Oh, that's the ticket. Four XL T. Yeah, you want yeah, that? Yeah, let's go. Let's go with that. Red is cool. That's a five XL T. Yeah. Can, let's rock the five XL T. It's just a. Oh yeah. That's a look right there. The black jeans with this one. Yeah, you're you're stylish now. I <laughs> for real. You really Do suspender? we need suspenders? You will. Yeah. Definitely. There's no way to belt that. No, no. That's the ticket sold. That's it. That's so it. So is it going to some kind of a party or what's it going to be? No, we just make videos. Ah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's good for YouTube. Oh, YouTube. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, okay. Cool. All right. Here's well, thank you. No, in the future. Let me, no worries. Let me get you a receipt. I'm Jesse, by the way. Aaron. Aaron. Yeah. Let me uh, give you your receipt. Yeah, and I'll check your video, man. I want. I want to laugh for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It'll be good. It'll be really good. Thank, thank you. you. Have a good one. Bye bye. Take care. That was amazing. Amazing. That security guard was not into us at all. <laughs> the security guard was literally about to punch us in the face. The guy was the coolest guy I've ever seen. Best customer service I'd probably have had at any store ever. Well done, DXL. Two pairs of jeans, two t-shirts, one pair of suspenders, $210. And then he almost got you to buy a hat. I know, he was, was really going for it. <laughs> but that guy, he was, he was awesome. You had to just do it, he's so cool. Yeah. Home sweet home. The Braille home. I'm pretty sure Troy is in there. I'm gonna see like, Troy, what do you think about my new pants? Troy! Check out my new pants. Oh God. <laughs> Dude, this is more like a shawl. <laughs> and I, sh I just showed him the clip and he's like, well, I think the smallest pair of pants we have is size 56. No, like 56. That's the smallest. What's the biggest size you have? Yeah. And he was like 64. What? This is 64. And then we're gonna film it with the old camera. You know, just recreate the full look. Are you gonna shave? Oh, that's a good idea. No. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> well, a lot has changed in the last 23 years. But then again, a lot has not changed. I see what he meant about the suspenders. Otherwise, we could probably kind of roll it like that. You know what I mean? The yeah. other thing we used to do is we used to cut the pants in, the, in here and add in extra fabric. So just the legs, just the legs were bigger. I'm not gonna lie though, I'm pretty sure I can belt this. Okay, <clears throat> we gotta be very strategic about this. I think two folds on the side is kind of you know, cause you want the pockets, right? Yeah. Actually, I think it doesn't even matter where you try and make the folds. I think you just put it through all the loops and just go. Oh, yes. Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about. There we go. Yeah. I think we should do a whole line <laughs> of Braille products. They're just massive. <laughs> Leave it in the comments below if you'd buy that. This is 5XLT. Dang. T stands for large. That's what the T? Or tall? What does it stand for? It stands for tall. The T stands for large. <laughs> you said it with such authority. <laughs> Just give me a minute. Ah! <laughs> with the shirt, it looks so dope. <laughs> Am I wrong though? What? It looks pretty dope, right? What? That's actually pretty gangster. <laughs> it's super gangster. Okay. I will never look at you the same ever again. Here's the thing now. We got to pick one of these lines and we got to recreate it. Okay. Kickflip 50. 
Whoa. With 51 Whoa. foot. What was that? Let's do those two tricks real fast. Let's do that. Kick flip 50, 51 foot. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do some tricks and then we're gonna film it with this and we're gonna actually try and recreate some of it, but I gotta get warmed up, you know? This is not like as easy as it was in 1996. 23 years, Gabe. Huh? It's literally older than me. Literally. I was born in 98. So the first two tricks I saw in there were kick flip back 50-50, which I'm not sure if I could do. Um, and then uh, front side 50-50, one foot. I can't remember, did I kick the front foot or the back foot off? I think it was the front foot. Okay. Yeah. And this is gonna be Alex's first time trying to follow film. He's got a nickel board. Let's see how he does. Off to a bad start. Let's go! Count it! I'm gonna roll these up just a smidge. They keep getting caught. Okay. Let's do some real recreations. You ready? Yeah. Ollie over something. Kick flip. Hold on. Uh. <laughs> no way. There's no way I can do that right now. And then a flat ground nollie. And then a varial flip. All right, let's get this beast set up. Camera. I love the noises it makes so much. Look at that, Brand record. Skateboarding.com. Okay, looks like we're good. Okay. Beat it. Let's go, let's get this line. Okay, you know how to use this? No. Ask me all your questions. Okay. This red button right there, giant red button, he just asked me, how do you record? But the giant red button. Oh, See? then that goes to record. How do you focus? I, it's I, always focused. Okay. But then, if I go Literally. super in, oh, it focuses. It's autofocus 5000. Like the new cameras, they don't got focus like this camera got focus. Wait, but how do I want to be really cool and use this thing? Close this. Man, it's like you were born yesterday. Whoa! <laughs> Let's go! I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, it's ollie over that, kickflip, um, and then a mongo push, and then a half cab 50 which I'm almost 100% certain I cannot do. In my defense, the thing that I was doing a half cap 50 on was like a thing kind of railish, and it didn't really matter which side I went, front side or back side 50-50, but now I only have a box, so whatever, it is what it is. And then I did a flat ground nollie, and then a varial flip. Let's go. That was tough. Okay. You, oh. Let's see another one. You gotta watch the angle too. Okay, that was good. 50 50, 180. Half cap flip. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> this is it. Okay, manual. Back 50 50. Nolly shove. Varial flip. Ooh, okay. There's a lot of varial flips. A lot of varial flips. We're gonna need to move the box for that manual though. Do you see the angle and everything? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! We're gonna do a couple other tricks. 50, 50, 180, and then we're gonna do like that funny no slide I did. So yeah, you pretty much just, I think you gotta get back a little bit more. Other than that, we're good.
SD cards that have like a thousand of them. Um, and in the middle of our filming, we ran out of SD cards. You know what? Should we just finish the video with this? <laughs> I was just thinking. I was thinking we have a perfectly good camera right here. A perfectly good camera right there. You'd rather watch this mini one footage. So there are a couple other ones on the box that I wanted to do. So Ollie on the box, it kick flip off, and then Ollie on the box, um, shove it. amazing my legs are burning my hamstrings are on fire my Achilles is melted well that was a good line I ended it with a switch flip we got to get that that one. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Okay, kick flip the three, and then I like super sketched out. Pop shove, Ooh. burial flip, nollie 180. Okay. okay. Three. we should make a new series out of this, leave it in the comments below. I got tons of old tapes. Um, I can review them. I can look at them. We can laugh at me, which is what we always do. So let us know in the comments below what you think. Check out all those videos right there. Subscribe, like, leave a comment below, and you, yes, you, learn how to skate.